Well guys, welcome back to another Scrappin' Irish video. And on this one, well, I was given this server, um, so we're gonna scrap it out. We're gonna see what's in here that's worth keeping for gold recovery. We'll have a look at some of the boards, see what type of chip is in it. So it's not like the big servers you see that um, E-Waste Mike and um, Shark Scrapper and a few other of these guys get these big server blades. This is just a server that was running, I'd say one, two, three, four PCs tops. Um, was being ran off this server so um, not going to be a huge amount of stuff in here but we're going to have a look and we're going to check it out and we're going to see so first thing we're going to do is remove the, the cover so we can get a look into it so that's just a bit of shred that's a bit of a shred pile um, and first off the easiest things as always I will always take out will be the ram sticks so in here we have two ram sticks so there oh, turn it this way so we might be able to see what they are um so four gigabytes so they're not a huge amount on that four gig and i presume it's another four gig here on this one so yeah four gigabyte so not a huge amount again easy enough i'm going to trim off the um gold fingers and we'll get the chips off and uh, that'll be it from them so that's the first thing we can take out. Um, looking here again, fairly easy to take off the wires. So we'll take off any connections we see. We'll remove them. We've got two hard drives in here. So that's going to have a little bit of gold in them. So the wire disconnected from them. Hard drives should just pull out. There we go. One hard drive. We'll take out the other one. So not much to it, just remove the two hard drives. So there's our two hard drives. Again, I have a few hard drives I need to take apart, so I'll put them together and I'll do them at the same time. Um, be getting the boards off it, you can see the gold on it. So there's a hard drive from another la uh, computer. I took apart there earlier or a couple of days ago and that was inside of it. So again, I just add these two hard drives with that, so put them aside. Um, again, a bit of the wiring here can be removed in a minute. I'm just having a quick look to see what else can be taken off. So we'll try and just remove this wire from there. And I suppose if I can to get the power supply out, or I might remove the I might remove the chip next. So we'll take off this and see what type of chip is in it. Let me get a better screwdriver. Okay, not expecting a whole amount in it, but it all adds up and I just want to show people what to look out for on the boards. So if you're wondering what you can keep, if you're not selling your boards, of course, if you're selling your boards to board sort or selling your chips to board sort or doing whatever you do that sort of way, isn't going to make a difference to you, then you're not worried about what's on the board. You're getting your price for the weight of the board. You just put it into your cash grease and that's it. Okay, we have our heat sink. We just remove the plastic from that, and then we've got a nice chunk of aluminium decaf and thing that's magnetic. And um, you can put that in with your aluminium, aluminium, whatever way you want to call it. Uh, let's have a look at the chip. So, a pinless. see can we get a it's an intel so there we go i think you can make out there what it is 
So, um, again, board sort and place like that might have a value with that because of the age of this, I doubt there's any value on that. For me, it's only going to be whatever gold I can get off there. I'll be taking off it. So then it's just, I think I'll go for the main board next. Um, if I can get the main board out, because now there's not a lot on the main board as I can already see. A different type of screw we have to get him with a different screwdriver actually i might even need to take him out i think he was just holding this on the, the bracket that's on the far side of the um socket so i don't even think i need to go near him Take out all this wiring, make it a bit easier to see what's happening. So you can see it's not a great board, it's not going to be a really high grade board. Um, I can see one gold, gold corner VGA on it and that's about it. wiring to come off okay and here we have our board so what is a value for gold recovery on the board or what should you be looking for to take off if you're going to be doing the gold recovery yourself as i said already if you're selling the board not going to make a difference uh, complete to board sort then you just do it by your categories that board sort will have on their website or anyone else that you're selling your boards to uh, but for me i don't sell my boards i recover the gold uh, from them so what will i be taking off and what will i be looking at what do i advise anyone else to do if that's what they're into so first and simplest thing is our gold corner bga so this gold corner bga um will contain um gold bond wires that go across there I've done videos on it as well so you can actually see the gold bond wires i think i've done a short video where you can see the gold bond wires so that will come off and um, i'll also remove that sockets because again they're gold plated pins so i will remove them sockets from it um, any of the gold plated pins such as what's along here so these ones here are all gold plated we've got some more gold plated and some more gold plated and a little bit more they'll all come off even these oh i can feel some gold plated over here um, and even these here have little gold connectors in them so these will be all taken off again i use a heat gun usually to remove them i don't bother taking these anymore the gold is too little in there to make it um, even worth my time to do it so i don't bother and um, me as a hobbyist that's saying a lot and um, that i don't even bother sometimes working with these connectors anymore um, I find them just too low grade um, going forward. Inside of here, again, we'll have gold, gold plating on the pins. 
some gold um, plating in here on little pit connectors so they'll all come off there's even gold connectors in here and you can see these are gold connectors again so they'll all come off for what i want i'll also remove any of these chunky mlccs so you can see they're nice chunky mlccs they'll all come off um for it so they're for my silver and uh, platinum if i decide to go after platinum metals they will get some of the old ones will have platinum if you are selling your board guys always remember to turn take away the battery don't turn it in with the battery in it um if i'd be taking it off anyhow before i use the heat gun because i don't want it to explode on it so that's what's on the board on the underside of the board nothing there of value at all and what other thing items will i remove from this for gold recovery and and other metals like any and, and they can make a bit of money on so the copper wire any of this copper wiring will come out uh, again i'll take out this cd rom so pull that back and just slides forward so fairly easy to take them out remove the connector from them. and again all of this wiring can just go into your insulated wire cut off the ends and um some of the ends will have little gold connectors in them as well so some of them i will keep this i'll take apart again there's going to be some gold uh, items in there i've done loads of videos on that as well cd roms stuff like that so if you want to go check that out check it out and you can see what's in there to take off and the only other item then that i think of use for me is going to be the uh, power supply again um some scrap yards you can uh, cash them in as they are and get a value on them and other scrap yards will only give you shred price for them so it's up to you what you want to do with them but for me i take them off and i break them down and i break them down to their smallest components so i'll go after the copper i'll go after any any the if there's a relay on it for the silver i'll go after that and um, so there might be some little uh, copper spools stuff like that all that kind of stuff i go after all that so we'll just remove this and then power supplies um we go we go after the bits i might do a video at some stage again showing what's inside these power supplies so maybe if you're not subscribed and you'd like to know what's in there of value if you're thinking about taking them apart and um, we can weigh a few see what you get just for bringing them in a shred and then break them down into the components and you can decide if that's something that's worthwhile for you to do as well um, on it so there'll be a little bit of brass a little bit of copper in them and um, might get a little bit of silver um, in the if there's a relay in it that'll have silver we'll get a few things like that other than that uh, you get your shred steel you might have a little bit of aluminium heat sinks in it i think we'll get everything out that's it no oh. fairly straightforward uh on it you have a little bit of copper wire on them as well this wiring we'll take that out If I can get to it, well, some of it is a bit stuck in a bit hard there. We don't have to worry about it at the moment. I can cut that out later. Um, some people will say, take out the fans, take out all that sort of stuff out of it. But I don't bother. That's as far as I'm going to go on it. Because um, everything else of value I've taken out that I need. Uh, the case there, I will just close the case back up, put that into shred. And um, send that to the scrapyard as shred. So the main items is our CD-ROM, our two hard drives on this one. Sometimes you might get lucky, you might get more hard drives. Only two RAM sticks, but again, trim the fingers, trim the fingers. Some uh, pinless CPU and our main board and our power supply is what I have got from this. So not a huge amount of stuff on this, on this stuff, but it again, once I break all this down, Get, get everything from the, even these crystal oscillators for the silver, take them off. Um, again, any of the MLCCs, even tantalums. Before I was thinking, what are they going to do with the tantalums? Um, I'm just going to go after the silver and the tantalums. I'm not going to go after the tantalum metal itself. It's going to be more of the silver because I, I don't have anywhere to sell tantalum metal to. So it's going to be the silver, any tantalums I take off. 
um, I'll go after them with the silver. So a bit shorter than normal guys, a little breakdown of what's inside a little server and what I go after on them servers. So again, as always, appreciate you all for checking out another video and um, stay tuned. We might at some stage do a video on these um, power supplies, what's inside them and um, what's of value. Again, I may have already done videos on this, but for anyone new to the channel, some people don't like going back through all the videos. We'll take a few of them apart and we'll have a look in them and we'll see how much copper we get out of them because I am going to be melting copper soon and aluminium and brass. So that's what I'll be doing with some of the stuff out of these. So as always, appreciate you for coming in guys. And if you don't mind, give it a thumbs up and um, share it out if you wish. Comment as always, and um, we'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe, guys.